So far, this fight will not happen. Вес 63 и 15 килограмма. Его силу ударная профессиональный рекорд. 18 побед, 8 поражений. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 26 years old. He stands 167 centimeters tall. Official weight 63.15 kilos. As a striker with professional record, 18 victories and 8 losses. Maxim Pratasov is the referee in charge of this bout and even though we consider this fight as striker against BJJ practitioner actually it's striker versus striker because Pereira never goes for takedowns he wants to exchange he wants to dismantle his opponent so let's see how it plays out and uh, Pereira starts pretty aggressively Nice kick from a leading leg by Brazilian. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> that was a loud leg kick from Pereira. Pereira charging in a little bit early on. Changing Ch stances. So far, Nikolai Baikin is pretty careful. Oh, that was a good combination. Yeah, but missed it. Left hook by Pereira. So we see that Pereira wants to engage. Another another kick while changing the stance. So Pereira wants to demonstrate the variety of his techniques and he actually did it while he was fighting at the ACA tournament. And uh, especially we remember him fighting Shamil Shagbulatov when actually he lost, but still he was competitive, he was good. Well, Shamil Shabolotov is a top fighter. Oh, nice counter! And right middle kick. Right now working at the fence. Well, actually, it seemed to me that Pereira wanted to hit to the head with that kick. But actually, he missed. Now, working in clinch and a takedown. Take He's taking his leg. And maybe Nikolai Baikin will go up to Kimura. Actually, he grabbed the hand like that. So, maybe was a good chance but so far Pereira is on top beating the opponent to the body and as you can see Nikolai Baikin tries to respond with his knee to the body well, maybe he just wants to block the opponent in order not to let him to get to the full mount position grabbing his neck and maybe if the position will change he will try to guillotine the opponent but not this time it's a deep half guard position and Pereira is on top and we see that Nikolai Baikin uses his elbows to hit the body well actually a good position for that and uh, Nikolai Baikin tries to stay active oh that was a good punch to the head from the Brazilian and another combination classical combination from the body straight to the head and he continues he continues punching throwing bombs from the right hand and put these shots are landing. Yes, putting some work on the body. Still working. And actually, this position is quite rare for Pereira because, as we already mentioned, he's a striker, more striker than a yeah, BJJ fighter. He's a stand up fighter, yeah, that's it. That's true. But still, we see that um, Walter Pereira is good in all aspects that actually. That actually we can see in MMA so uh, now he's showing good control staying on top and we see that uh, he wants to trap uh, his opponent right hand 
And he does it actually. And so far, he's not going to let Nikolai Biking out of this position. Uh, maybe he will try to stay there until the uh, time expires in the first round and to win this round. Yeah, he's okay with that. He doesn't want to move to the mount position. He's just working here. Yeah, because he feels comfortable. Oh, that was a good strike. Double strike to the body from Walter Pereira. And a good transition to the head. And we see that Nikolai Biking tries to defend himself. He tries to tie the opponent up. And he's tying. He is taking his leg, controlling it, but there is not much he can do here from this position just to hold. And look at that shot. Pereira uses only power shots to yeah. the body and to the head. No weak shots. So determined to do damage. And uh, we all do know that uh, these body shots actually influence the stamina, they influence the fatigue. They can so really guess out here, of course. And so Walter Pereira uses it. Another, another, another big right hand to the body. And uh, according to the small gloves, well, he can actually do damage to the ribs. That definitely hurts. So far, there are no chances for Nikolai Baikin to stand up, to get rid of this position. And actually, the time is about to expire, and uh, this round is about to finish. And this round will be won by a Brazilian fighter, Walter Pereira. So here is the gong. So it was laying great position for Absolutely, Nikolai Baikin. absolutely, yes. And uh, round one for the Brazilian. And uh, unluckily for Nikolai Baikin, no chance for him. It will be maybe 10 9 or. I'm, I'm not sure that uh, the judges will give it 10-8, but uh, it was a good advantage for Walter Pereira. Perfect control, good shots, especially from the right hand to the body. Nikolai Baikin tried to defend himself, tried to cover up. And uh, as far as we can see, we are looking at Nikolai Baikin now, looking at his face, uh, looking at uh, his corners. And we can definitely say that those shots to the body actually did damage. Yeah, he's taking a deep breath. That's really not a good sign. And, David, maybe you remember, well, I do actually, that uh, there were some fights that actually were finished by a knockout uh, to the shot to the body, especially in this position when one fighter is on top, the other one is on his back, taking that shot. Bam to the body, and he says, that's it, I'm done. That's it, yes. Okay, round. Oh, good, good connection. Nice connection from Nikolai Baikin. Beg your pardon. Nice landing. So Nikolai Baikin understands that he lost the first round, so he, he needs to, to do forward. something. Yes, yes, he needs to be aggressive. And, of course, he needs to avoid those takedowns. So controlling the distance. And so he does it right now. Some fake moves, some fins. Pereira decided to move. And a good one-two combination from the Brazilian. Nice exchange in the center. Pereira wants to engage that left hook and a good shot by, from a leading leg. But actually was blocked by Nikolai Baikin. Look at the left side of uh, Nikolai's uh, body. Here is the, that redness that they, uh, that appeared after. Nice exchange going for Viking and guillotine show. Yeah, that was a take that. Oh, nice grip. That is a nice grip for Nikolai Viking, just like I told you. And the sweep. He is a good grappler. He is a good grappler. And they separate. Nikolai Baikin won silver medal at the Grappling World Championships. So, so he does know his business. He knows what to do on the ground. He knows how to submit. But actually, Pereira did not let that happen. Pereira controlling the distance. Front kick by Pereira. He's instigating his opponent and the takedown attempt by him. Perfect connection by Nikolai Baikin and Pereira wants to save himself by shortening the distance and he, and he did it, now controlling the opponent beside the cage. 
Working at the grid. Ooh, nice slam. Marvelous slam. And thumbs up by Nikolai Baikin. Showing that everything is just fine. Or maybe he just said, oh, that's, that was a good throw down. Boy, but... But I'm all right. Absolutely, yes. Holding the hands of Brazilian. Trying to tie him up. Side control by Pereira. He put really good work in the first round on the body. Let's see what he can do here. Good side control. Nikolai Baikin wants to change it into a half mount. Actually, Pereira can use elbows here. Exactly. So he does it. But what firstly to the body. Firstly to the body, but I'm more than sure that he will try to reach the head. And now this is a perfect position for elbow striking for Pereira. That's what he does. Another one big, by Pereira. Big shot by the Brazilian fighter. And in, in this particular position, actually, Pereira can try to finish the fight due to a technical knockout, but still he needs to engage, he needs to see the goal and so. One and a half to go in the second round. Still nothing is set in stone yet for Baikin. But he is losing. Yes. He is losing this round too. He had a very good start. He had a very good connection. And uh, during the second round when we, they were working in stance, actually, Baikin connected several times. But once again, he missed that takedown. And he is on his back now trying to defend himself. And we see that some hard times for Nikolai Baikin in this position. It seems to me that Baikin wasn't ready, really ready for uh, takedowns. Maybe for he style. underestimated uh, the takedown ability of uh, yeah. the Brazilian fighter. Because in his last fights, Pereira never went to uh, takedowns, went for them. He just, what he just. An moved. arm triangle, an yeah. arm triangle, ladies and gentlemen, and this and fight can deep. be finished. It's really deep. Nikolai Baikin tries to. Avoid it. The referee is near. He is still trying. He's to struggling. To respond. That's it. That's it. He gave it up. A big win. Does it. A very big win for Pereira. And I think that it was a clear stoppage. Clean stoppage. Uh, and uh, no questions to Maxim, the referee. Because uh, he did everything right. This guy is superlative in every sense of this word. Very solid striker and dangerous grappler, as we can see. But just like we told you that uh, Walter Pereira likes to fight in stance. He's a stand-up fighter, but still we see that he has great grappling abilities that were demonstrated today. Perfect game plan. Absolutely, absolutely. Nice tactical win. And uh, Walter Pereira defeated a very experienced and high-level fighter. He just mauled him. It's devastated. And we see the disappointment on Nikolai Baikin's face. Yes. I think he just wasn't ready for it. Wasn't ready for this style. Exactly. And maybe he counted on the stand-up fight. Yeah. And he wanted to Definitely. exchange, he wanted to engage, he wanted to hit, and he wanted to be hit, but it never happened. So here comes Alexander Zagorski. Alexander Zagorski.